Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Noor Networks. In this tutorial, we will see how we can configure a Sophos firewall so that we can publish our internal server over the internet that will be accessible through port 80 that is HTTP port. Before we proceed, just let me give you the brief overview of the basic configuration, what is being done and in order to have a detailed understanding about the connectivity uh, and uh, about the DMZ zone and regarding the development of the basic website, please refer to my previous tutorial. The link I will be adding in the description box so that you can have a better understanding. But in short over here, I will be showing how to publish the basic understanding and everything is already covered in my previous tutorial. This is basically moreover, we will be configuring a corporate policy. So uh, my internal server which is placed in DMZ has the IP address 172.16.0.0 and it is connected to the port C of the firewall which has IP address 172.16.0.200 and it is designated in the DMZ zone. Just I will take you to the web server. Uh, I have installed web server 2019 and uh, on this the website is working. The basic web page is being created. So let me show you the configuration of this server. I mean the IP address configuration. It is 172.16.0.100 slash 24 with a gateway as 172.16.0.200 which is the interface IP. Uh, port C that is the DMZ zone interface IP. Okay. Port C is defined as a DMZ zone and the IP address on the firewall is 172.16.0.200 let me show you that as well going to the firewall GUI over here you will see that the interface IP of port C is 172.16.0.200 which is the gateway of your web server and it is in DMZ quickly let's begin with the configuration our requirement is the Outside users, uh, like the users coming through the van, should be able to reach to your internal server, which is in DMZ. So let's begin with the configuration. The very first step, uh, what you are going to do is you will be adding your web server, web as a host. You have given the name. Go, uh, how you did? You have went to the host and services in IP host. You have given the name web server. You will give the IP address of your web server, which is 172.16.0.100, and you will save it. When we talk about version 18.5 of the Sophos HD firewall, it gives a easy configuration, a user friendly interface for proceeding further. So the second step is to configure the rules and policies. We will go to rules and policies over here. In the second tab, that is a NAT rule. Over here, you will uh, open the NAT rule and you will add a NAT rule. Over here, you have two options, new NAT rule and server access assistant DNAT. So when you click on server access assistant DNAT, it will give you the wizard where you have to simply define the parameters as asked and it will create a NAT rules and firewall rules for you which uh, will be helpful for you to access the web server directly there is nothing much more in the configuration earlier it used to be like you have to create a NAT rule then you have to create a firewall rule but uh, from the version 18.5 and year after the configuration is quite easy what we did first step we have added a host that is a website IP and the second step we went to rules and policies NAT rules and over here we clicked on server access assistant which has opened a wizard for us internal server IP address we have already created a host so we will be saying our internal server IP address is this one we will select this and you will simply click next over here it is asking you for the public IP address guys usually whenever we do a lap uh, over here we will say okay we will be coming through this van IP address but in the corporate environment this is not like that the scenario is something different like uh, the service provider uh, let's say has given you a block of IP address saying 192.168.0.200 uh, sorry 0.0, .0 /24. slash 24 this subnet is being given let's assume that this subnet is given by your service provider okay so this uh, from this particular subnet you have used one of the IP address on your firewall interface that is a WAN IP that is 192.168.0.200 so this IP definitely you won't be using for the natting purpose I mean uh, for 
publishing your internal application over the internet you have to use some other ip address in the real environment i am talking about so let's say that uh, 192.168.0.205 the one of the ip address from this subnet which your isp has provided we will be saying that from this ip address this ip address should be netted to your internal server ip address so in, a, in our previous tutorial uh, we have selected this as a wan interface over here and we have done the netting that is not actually a practice because there will be many challenges over there definitely so this is not a practice also and even when you will be going on the domain usually over here we won't be using any kind of domain as you can see public ip host name but we will be calling through the ip only but this will be more over related to the real life environment so over here you will type the ip address 192.168.0.205 this is one of the ip which your service provider has provided a block of ip address service provider has provided to you from that you are using one of the ip address for your website for your web server so basically you are netting 192.168.0.205 uh, with the this uh, server ip internal ip so the public ip for your website is this one 192.168.0.205 and you will simply click next it is asking which services you want to open i will say like http i need to open so you will just select http check on this apply one selected item and uh, now you are opening only http services if you want to open some other services also yes you can do it for now we will open http service and click next it is asking like from which source network and devices you want to access oh yeah you can define a group of ip address or a particular network from where your website should be accessible even you can define a geographical location let me remove this any we will add a new item and you can see that you can define a geographical location also like india or you can say united arab emirates and so on for now we will say i want to access this website from any of the location and you will select the default option okay click next this is basically giving you the overview, uh, the review of your selection, whatever you have done. It is saying the internal server to access from the internet is 172.16.0.100, which is your website IP, which is placed in DMZ. The public IP address, which you have used, 192.168.0.205. You have opened port HTTP and it is accessible from anywhere. Additionally, it, the one informative thing it is saying that it will create two NAT rules, inbound and outbound, a NAT rules it will create okay and it will create <coughs> one firewall rule as well so let's click on save and finish it it will take some time to save the configuration okay now uh, you will see that as it has given as a notice that uh, this uh, following rules will be created you can see the, the dnet to uh, web server and reflex you net file these two are the net rules which it has created and apart from that coming to the firewall rules over here let me take you to the firewall rules okay here you will see one more firewall rule is automatically created this is a rule which is automatically created now what we are going to do is we will be calling this particular website this website we will be calling through its public ip address we have not um, mapped it through any domain but we will be calling through the public ip address let's go out of the network going out of the network what we are going to do is we will be calling from outside the network the ip address was 192.168.0.0 five you can see my website is accessible let me take you to the web server and first of all show you from there this is the web server right i will take you to okay this is our web server and the ip address of this is 172.16.0.100 right i will be calling the same from here you can see the website is coming right so even from outside the network if you are calling uh, from the van ip also it is reachable which means our configuration is perfect and uh, our website is published over the internet and it is accessible on port number 80 this was the one thing now coming to the other thing now guys from the user sitting somewhere 
outside your network that is the user coming through a internet is able to access this website 172.16.0.100 over port 80 let's see if this particular website which is in dmz zone is accessible through your lan network that is 10.1.1.150 or 10.1.1.100 so we are in this lan network itself now so simply what we are going to do is see I mean, one more thing when you was calling the website from outside the network at that time definitely you have to come in through the public ip right but now you are within the network so you won't be using the public ip that is 192.168.0.205 you have to reach from here and you have to come here so you will be using your internal ip itself from lan for coming from lan to dmz right let's try 172.16.0.100 and the website is not reaching the reason is quite simple because by default there is no land to dmz rule right by default any zone to any zone is deny so over here simply you will be creating one rule from land to dmz okay let me add one rule or uh, new firewall rule over here new firewall rule and i will say the rule is from land to dmz i can position it on top none log firewall traffic source zone i will say lan source network either you can say that only from this particular ip address <coughs> client pc1 like you can say client pc1 i want to access this from client pc2 i don't want to then in that case you will say only client pc1 or else we can keep any okay schedule all the time destination is dmz now okay you will select this destination network uh, you can keep any services any or else uh, for now we have only one server we will say okay fine i want to give the access to the, the web server and i want to give the access on port 80 that is http port okay uh, moving on you will you we don't need to uh, add, add a nat rule or you don't need to link the rule because over here you are not doing any kind of uh, private to public IP address translation so no need of NAT rule even web filtering application filtering is not required over here simply you will save the firewall rule over here now the rule is saved uh, on the same server which was not reachable now you can see I refresh and it is reachable now so you are able to reach now <coughs> from this server to this server now uh, let's say for example this according to this uh, you, now you are able to read the website internally okay so now this was port 80 someday your requirement comes you need to access some other port also on this particular zone from LAN to dmz zone let's assume for example just for the understanding purpose i want to open the ping now okay so you will go to ping and you will try to ping 172.16.0.100 will keep on continuous ping so now what you are doing you are trying to ping from LAN to the DMZ server it is not pinging so it's quite simple you have to play with the rules over here you will be simply opening the ICMP port over here right ping right, and save it And you can see the ping has started now so guys this is guys this is how uh, you will be publishing your servers over the internet and whichever port you want to open you can open it apart from that you need to do a line to dmz routing for the internal access because by default no zone to zone is allowed as we have seen this in our initial tutorials when we were understanding the basics so that's all about publishing the internal server over the internet. Thanks for watching my video. If uh, you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe now and do share with your friends. Thanks and see you in the next tutorial.